Welcome to episode 128. Can I shade another? Yeah. So so beautiful for the listener to come into. You know, that's not the song. <laughs> yeah, it's not it anymore. It's not. Yeah, it's yeah. close enough. It's close um, enough. I hurt, y'all. I'm I'm hurting. Look, Suck look, it up, Buttercup. Look, oh, my look, God. Oh, he's, I, I, he is I got pink. Like that, tomato yeah, paint. That is a like lot worse lobster. than I thought it was. Like, so, so, so Adam right now, combination with the shirt, his background, and his skin is straight up like synth wave aesthetic coloring. <laughs> 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 you, you cyberpunk as fuck over here with that neon I mean, paint. I'm, I get into it, you know. You, I'm, I'm a method actor. Are, are you are you of the Irish persuasion? Oh yeah. Yeah, I and mean, what, what Kelly? Part of me is not last Irish. name is Kelly. Kelly. I, yeah, I, dude. I, I didn't want to assume. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but uh, now, now I can certainly see it. You are quite uh, red, my friend. Yes, indeed. Uh, it hurts really bad. Uh, you know, Embrace but that's the, the pain. price you pay for vacation. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. part of the pain. Yeah, I like exactly. it. Mm. Yeah, embrace it, dude. Yay. I get to re-roll all. I get to re-roll nope. all my d20s Negative. tonight. That's well, sorry, dude. Doesn't work At least that if way. I know you have Adam, to discuss that with us before <laughs> recording. <laughs> <laughs> At least if I know Adam, that tan is going to come in great. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go from it's gonna go from burnt red to light pink, oh. and then back to pasty white. Oof, that's that's a Hot. struggle. Hot. I wish I could send you some of the like aloe vera cream stuff that I made for my sunburn the other day. Because it's what's stopping awesome. you? Like made? <laughs> like what? What else? Because I I just use aloe vera. What's what else is in it? Oh, so I use it. I made my own. I use I scraped out the aloe vera uh, gel out of the actual plant, and then I put in some. Uh, God, I can't remember it, but it's like this this moisturizer that I use because I have really um, <laughs> some aggressive some topical cocaine. Uh, some topical <laughs> cocaine is fine, um, but it's like super good for if you have eczema uh, or like. Uh, dermatitis type issues, which I tend to have. And then I also put in some hyaluronic acid and I put in some um, uh, vitamin E oil. And what was the other one that I put in there? Uh, oh, yeah, cocaine. Right. Girl, <laughs> you're just just right. Right. Bed, Bath and Beyond you know. or something. <laughs> yeah, just, you know? just cocaine and acid. Yeah, just do yeah. that. Well, like, why are I mean, you giving that shit away? Sell it. Uh, yeah. Damn. Just, the first nice taste like is that. free. I get it, but I oh, mean, you know, coconut oil. That was the other thing. Oh, forgot. not cocaine, yeah. but coconut no, oil. Coconut oil. Yeah, I knew it started. I always with get C. those two Sorry. confused. Sorry, I get those confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's always bad when I'm snorting <laughs> coconut, coconut oil. oil. <laughs> God, chopping up those coconut flakes. <laughs> Ooh, the drip is brutal. Ooh. It tastes way better. <laughs> Until it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this has been let's just a roller go, let's coaster. Let's not go down this road, you know? This has been a roller coaster of an intro. Uh, aren't they all, though? Aren't they, they all? Aren't they all? <sighs> um, so it's been two weeks since we've recorded. It's been, it's been what? <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Well. I'm so proud of you, Eve. I, mean, was oh, I, could, I couldn't that was I couldn't unmute my mic fast enough because I'm fucking around yeah. with dice, so I muted myself. Um yeah, awesome yeah. We're synced up now mm-hmm. after Tom talks. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so it's been two weeks since we played. Uh, since we've played. I know it's only been a week for you guys listening, but it's been a minute since we played. Um, which was all part of my master plan to get you all off of your game before we do this combat that's coming up. Congratulations, mm. you've done it. Yeah, but how you guys been? I mean, like, it's been two weeks, you know? I feel like... I feel like we're on different islands. Well, I just got back from an island, so that's neat. There's that. Yeah. yeah. There's an opportunity to talk about yeah, Puerto, just, Puerto uh, Rico. Just Puerto got back Rico. from Puerto Rico and uh, had a good time. Some good rum there, some good food, uh, beach time. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. You didn't get sunburned. No, I did not because I wear sunscreen. <laughs> was this part of your drill for? An ample amount of sunscreen. Yeah, it was a work trip. Yeah, work trip. Hmm. Yeah, I tried hmm. uh, spray on sunscreen. Well, you still have to rub it in. Well, uh, yeah, I know. But and then the reapply. Was, yeah, I know. <laughs> that, that, why I know. are you pink? <laughs> because I you failed to do step. those things. You skipped because, a step here. Because yeah, yeah. Well, because like I also got kind of drunk on the beach kind of. so, uh, uh, yeah, so yeah. i forgot to reapply the Classic. third time i went out into the water and then that's the time that i stayed out the longest mm-hmm. and well see the water is what ruins it it doesn't help you know it certainly doesn't mm. help it'll like, wash mm-hmm. that stuff right on off especially if you don't give it <laughs> enough time to dry adam well, I didn't even put it on, so that wasn't the problem. Look, he was I drunk. The problem was is that his, his drinking was the problem. That's, yes, that's, that's, yes, yeah. yes. That was the, that was part of the problem for mm-hmm. sure. Um, you know what? The waves out there in Myrtle Beach they beat the crap out of me too. Like I tell you what, those waves it was churned up. It was <laughs> churned up. It was churned up. Yeah, yeah. See, churned up to I eleven. Don't fuck with the beach like that, man. <laughs> no, yeah, well, the beach can fuck off. Sorry, no. Sand, nah, dude, I'm sand sand beach. I like a beach. Beaches are dope. So um, I, I prefer I pol- woods. I apologize. Let me let me rephrase. I like a uh, a stone beach. Like I don't want sand in my life. Uh, if there's like a pebble, mm, well, you're gonna beach, get sand in your everything. Exactly at the beach. Exactly. So, the beach is fine. It's the ocean that I don't fuck with. I should clarify. Mm. Oh, you mean like I, I don't really prefer shit? the like. Well, what about the like almost, the Gulf Coast? I almost ocean, drowned in the ocean yeah. when I was a teenager, and I, really that, that broke me from from sucking eggs on that one for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mm. I understand. Did you that. know Harry Hood was written about drowning, almost drowning um, in the ocean? You know, of course it was. Of course, it was. <laughs> <laughs> of course well, it was. Now you know. Yeah. Now, now you know. know. Welcome to Fish Facts. <laughs> I was fixing to say, I need, I need a new drop. I was like, fish facts. is that a book? And then I immediately in my mind was like, no, Emily, it's probably some this fish This is shit. probably a fish thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I was uh, waiting yeah. for it to reveal itself. And yeah. Well, yes. it did. It did. It done it. Well, Adam, I'm just glad that, you know, rare medium rare whatever you particular shade is considered i'm glad that you had a good time yeah it was good it was it was a good time the the flying part was a real pain in the in the butt in the patootie uh, you can yeah. say it in the old yeah, in the old Sorry. hq in, in the hind quarters <laughs> patootie <laughs> yeah it's okay you can say swears like that on here I don't know. I, we're going to have to edit that. Ass. 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 In your ass. Whoa. My, <laughs> oof. <laughs> my ass. Ass. Going to have to redact that. We're like. really trying to aim for that family friendly demographic oh, now. Huh? Yeah, here no. in our, in in our, our horror, horror campaign, podcast. 130 <laughs> episodes in. Our body horror campaign. Yeah. 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 <laughs> speaking, well, speaking of, of uh, let's get into it speaking, let's get in yeah. let's get into it uh as as these creeping shades burst out of the body of one dr kindor uh well one does anyway and the other one drips from the ceiling um kindor Kindor, Kindor. Okay, got well, it. there's no A on it. I just added uh, it. Okay, okay. No, no, it's canon now. For His fancy. name has Kindor. Kindor. Yeah. This is likely going to be the hardest fight that we've ever done. Doctor Kudoba. No, nah, dude. Remember, I took Dr. Smash. Through. It's fine. Oh yeah. Well, then just smash through his ass. I thought right. you were gonna say I took Smash Mouth. I was like, that's a feat. <laughs> <laughs> if it was, I'd take it. <laughs> oh man, let's get some initiative, folks. Oof. Ugh. You want me to play this God. game? <laughs> oh, so much disdain for rolling initiative. 
it's going to be bad. Yeah, this is going to be a tough little fight here, I believe. We'll be see. We'll see what you do. I think it's going to be more frustrating than tough. That's my prediction, mm. yeah. which is you guys' favorite. Let me get all my dice here. Wait a second. Where am I? Wait a second. Well, hey, Who cool. am I? Emily, you've been fucking with those dice for the last 10 minutes. I know. Get I, your shit together. I poured them out, and now I'm lost. I just need one more D4. Okay, this one. This one. I choose you. I choose you, D4. I choose, I choose you. you. <laughs> I mean, I there's like a thousand Pokemon now. That's probably one. Yeah. I, y'all, I heard the worst <laughs> insult the other day. Somebody was, or it's not an insult, but like, they were like, I hope... I hope you wake up and your your floor is made of D fours. I was Oof. like, Jesus Christ! Holy <laughs> shit! Calm down. Ooh, what did they rude. do to that person? I don't man. know, but it was like That's some mean. Satan level stuff. Hating Satan. Yeah. Hating. Uh, let's talk about some initiative, folks. Well, I'll come to you last, Emily, since you're still struggling with dice. Uh, I'm hoping that Zach, you're you're on the ball. Orin, what did Orin get? A fourteen. Okay, fourteen. Good. Thank you for having your roll and ready to go. Mm-hmm. The next person that I think will be ready, I'm hoping, is Josh. What did Fel get? Fel got a 17, which is okay. one of the better that he's had yeah, lately. Yeah, that's actually pretty good for you. Uh, what about John Boy? 21 after two rolls. Nice. Titty Mike? 22. Nice. All right. We're at you, Emily. We're at you. I literally rolled the same thing um, in real life that I did on Roll20, so yeah, 12. Same. That was what I thought was so weird. It was like, yeah. I hit a 10, a nat 10, and then I hit a, a 10 on my Roll20 roll. Okay. All well, things considered, that's not terrible for me. <laughs> I've got some new music. i got a collection of new tracks, mm-hmm. new combat tracks. We'll see how they go. They're a little synth wave heavy. I was thinking um, about Josh. It's just that whole <gasps> new Justice album. Dude. Yeah. Wait, dude. whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, hold up. What? There's a new Justice album? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, dude. You didn't straight up? What? Yeah. Really? You missed out? that, dude? This, it came I'm out so sorry, Adam. I'm so sorry, Adam. Mm, mm, mm. But that, dude, uh, you said Synthwave. I'm sorry. Like, you did. Oh, you done three people here who love Synthwave. Thank, thank you. Also, everyone listening, yeah. listen to that. Yeah. After this. Okay. Josh, well, it's going to be it's going to be the background music for this. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So, quick description of the room as we see it. This room is about 15 feet across and roughly 60 feet tall. There's a creeping shade that dropped down from the south side ceiling and a creeping shade that burst out of the skin sack that is Dr. Kindur, uh, right there in front of Titanium Mike and Piper. Oren is in the center of the room and Ziva is in the south side kind of right close to this creeping shade and Fell is in the outdoors in the hallway. Mike, you've got first go. All right, so since I posted up right here next to uh, Dr. Kendor, I'm mm-hmm. gonna full attack. All right, let's see what you can do here. Uh, what are you attacking with? I'm gonna do one with my unarmed strike and one with my pulse gauntlet. All right, and Tell me which one of those has the fusion on it, the ghost fusion. Uh, neither. My sword has the ghost fusion. All right. Well, I gave you a little hint for next round, but we're going to go ahead and go with these two. What punches. I meant was I pull out my sword. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out my gun. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. Let's get okay. those punches. All right. So the first one, I guess, will be for the pulse gauntlet. Uh, that's a 16 on the die. Uh, I'm assuming that should hit plus 15, so 31 to hit. 31 to hit. And this is from the Pulse Gauntlet? Yes. At, wait, actually, I lied to you. It's a 27 to hit. 27 to hit um, with the Pulse Gauntlet. And this and that's uh, against EAC, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Or wait, didn't we, did we figure out it's not, because it's bludgeoning and Sonic. Oh, then it's not, so it's going to be against Casey. So that is still a hit. Okay. Um, let's, let's see here. I got to just check something. Okay. Um, all right, 
So how, I need to know how much bludgeoning damage and then how much, I guess it's split. So just tell me your damage on that, on that hit with the pulse gauntlet. Uh, 23 total. 23 total. So we split down, down the middle. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt that 12 is going to be the EAC or the energy damage. Only very little of that actually goes through as you punch this shade and you just feel like you just feel like it kind of swirls around this shadowy plant like substance and you can't get a full connect on it um so huh yeah, okay it's, it's not great but you did some damage but not a lot right and then you got your second punch here oh that's a natural one Oh boy, that's not good. Starting uh, out hot. Yeah, you're going to need to roll to confirm that fumble because this is a uh, whatever they called enemy. A significant enemy? Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. Uh, the second, or the to confirm, is a 29. That's what the minus four? Uh, it's a. It's not with the minus four. So 25. 25. Uh, so that does not confirm. So it's just a miss, just whiff on that. So you try to punch this thing a little left-right combo, and um, you get you get some with the with the left, but it just doesn't. It's just glancing, and it just you can't really figure out where its form is, you know, with all the shadow kind of coalescing around it. Kuiper, you're up next. Okay, yeah. So Kuiper is situated just south uh, east of the uh, Doctor Keendor. And uh, he's gonna go ahead and uh, do a recall knowledge using uh, life science on this uh, bad boy. Okay, so it's not gonna be life science. What is it gonna it's be? It's going to be mysticism. Is it gonna be mysticism? Then I'm gonna hold off, if it is. I think it's Don't. gonna be acrobatics. <laughs> definitely hey, not gonna hey, be acrobatics. Yeah, right. <laughs> That'd be great if it was. It's definitely gonna be mysticism. It is. It is Profession KGB. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and hold off and let that from my boy Zach or Or. All right. Do so, you have an opportunity? Do you have the ability to roll on that? Uh, I I have mysticism. There, there you that. Roll. It's a free action. Do because it, it, yeah. okay. it doesn't cost yeah. anything to do. All right. Give me that I, just, I just didn't want to step on toes, brother. That's brother, all. Brother, don't even worry no, about. Is, all right. In this all right. instance, it's about getting that info, yeah. dog. Okay. Cool. All right. So that is going to be a 17 total. 17 total? Yeah, that's garbage. You shouldn't have even rolled it. That's oh, not no, true. what you were thinking. <laughs> he's, just getting your, he's trying to get in your head. You done good. Nope, nope. I, got, I passed the will save there. So, uh, Kuiper is uh, going to remain in his spot, but using un uncanny mobility, he'll still be able to take a shot with his pistol without taking any attack of opportunity. Yes, sir. Which is what is gonna happen. So, it's gonna do a uh, trick attack. That's gonna be the take 10. Um, so, we're gonna go with culture or sense motive with this bad guy. It's gonna be a sense motive. Okay, so sense motive, that is, okay. That's gonna be a 28 on the sense motive. Does that pass? Yeah. Excellent. And so, I'm gonna impose uh, bleeding. Oh, you're gonna do that? Yep. Okay. And that is a nat fucking one, my oh, friend. Oh. So you're not going to impose bleed. Oh. No. Nope. And you're going to roll to confirm that natural yeah. one. No, I don't want to. Oh. But you're going to. Let me see. I'm going to roll a different die for that. Okay, cool. That Well, maybe not. That's a nine on the die. Uh, plus 14. That is going to be a 22. 23. 23. 23. 23. Does not confirm. Okay. Sweet. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, well, trick attack is my full action. I can't do anything else. So. Okay. Well, that was womp, a crappy womp. turn. I'm yeah. just picking on John tonight, so okay. y'all just get with it. John, well, I love you, but you're hey, the man, I'll of dish my it back out. Tonight. I'll dish it back out. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. all right. Let's get it. Let's Next turn is five it. minutes. It's me and you tonight, John. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, you're up. All right. Hiding out in the hallway. Out in the hallway, what is the uh, status of these doors? Are they open? They are open. Okay, are so open. I can shoot through if I choose to. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, I am going to swift action, draw my 
What is that? That the the ice carbine that I got recently. Oh, that's a rifle now. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, I, I know a carbine's a rifle. Well, you, you I, said I started to say pistol, but it's not a pistol. It's a carbine. Right. That's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on the same page. Carbiner. <laughs> Carbiner. Um, swift action to draw that because uh, feats. And I'm gonna hold my ground and do combat tracking on the good doc. The bad doc, I guess. There you go. And the doc uh, is. L- let me. Let me. There is be no clear. doc. There is no doc. His skin exploded, and this oh. thing came out of it. Oh. Oh. There's, a, there's a bit of a oh, puddle wow. left, I imagine. Yeah. Oh, that's about okay. it. Okay. 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 Then I'll do it on the the shadow goopy thing. Yeah. It's and got little pieces of doc on it, I guess. You know what was once <laughs> the bad doc? It was wearing an Egger suit. <laughs> that's right. That? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Hash cheers inspiration. Oh. So not using oh, deadly aim, hash. not overcharging it, just a normal shot. And right. let's see how that do. It's an 11 on the die for a 23 to hit EAC. That'll hit. Nice. Uh, the problem is, though, there's a bit of cover between you and this thing. Okay. Uh, range attacks ignore two points of oh, AC right. from cover. All right. So two points. So that's... Because it's sniper's aim. All right, so tell me if this is KC or EAC. I'm sorry. So it doesn't matter. It'll hit. It'll hit. Well, again, it says C and P. So would that be cold and piercing? Mm hmm. So that would be against KAC. Okay. Uh, however, that does hit. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. There. Yep. And that is 22 damage total. 22 damage, cold and piercing. Except that it's not 22 damage. It's a lot less than that. I figure it's like six. That's pretty close. You're pretty Five, close. Six. Yeah, yeah, you're pretty close. All right, you still got a shot in. You didn't hit any of your allies, and you like shot off the little earlobe that was still hanging on this uh, on this shade. Uh, Orin. You're up. You see these things just swirling around. You're like kind of split right between the two, right? Yes. And you see these swirling masses. They're like shadowy vines, you know, with cl- smoke cloud all around them. It's it's kind of like the lost smoke, smoke monster. monster. Can you blow up the tokens one more time? By you telling me a little bit more about those creatures. Huh? Mm-hmm. Well, let's see how much I'll tell you with that roll. Fair deal. All, all of it. Hang on, let me calculate this real quick. <laughs> that fucking laugh. Yeah. Did you get that right, for me? Thirty six. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see here. I want to know what their that mother's a- maiden name was with thirty six on the roll. <laughs> Uh, that's not that high at this level, not, just so okay. you know. No, but that will get you two questions. Weaknesses, resistances. Um, weaknesses is would be separate than resistances. Uh, so which one? Those are your two questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, has no weaknesses, and here's I'm gonna give you defensive abilities in place of resistances, just because like there are, there are no resistances, and you did roll well enough to learn something here. So they are incorporeal. And brace yourselves because there's a lot to this. And I'm going to give you all of it so you guys can help keep me honest. All right? Okay. An incorporeal creature does not have a physical body. It is immune to all non-magical kinetic attacks. All energy attacks and magical kinetic attacks deal half damage to it. An incorporeal an, an incorporeal creature takes full damage from other incorporeal creatures and effects as well as from all force effects. Corporeal spells and effects that do not cause damage have only a 50% chance of affecting the incorporeal creature, and an incorporeal creature is immune to critical hits. They can can also pass through solid objects, and they cannot be detected by normal perception checks. I'll tell you, I don't love it. Yeah, it's bad. I don't like any of that. I don't. It's bad. It is bad. Um... One one more bit about being incorporeal. They they cannot be subject to combat maneuvers. Okay. All right. So Oren, 
it's still your turn. I imagine you kind of shout that out to the to the rest of the crew. Uh, yeah, definitely he would. I'm not going to repeat all of that in Arn's voice, but <laughs> um, yeah. that whole speech. My question is, do and I don't remember. I feel like I think this is correct, but I don't know 100. percent If you have a weapon fusion installed in a weapon, is it considered magic for the purposes of overcoming damage resistances and whatnot? Uh, if you, you have the ghost already? killer fusion, no, well, that's specific think... to these. I'm talking about in general. Is your weapon considered a magic weapon? A weapon fusion is a small prepackaged add-on that can be attached to any weapon to infuse it with magic. Yeah. Weapon fusions are magic unless stated otherwise. Mm-hmm. So, also a vanishing tack knife, for example. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. All Weapons right. Weapons with fusions are considered magic for the purpose of overcoming damage reduction. Uh, but I, I feel like that still applies here. Okay. They're considered magic weapons. Yeah, but it's specifically non-magic weapons that they have some sort of immunity, immunity to. to. Right. It's straight up immunity to, yeah. Well, considering that Evelyn has m- m- weapon fusions, uh, I would consider her that a magic weapon. Orin had his rifle trained on the uh, doctor whenever... Mm-hmm. Do both of the, Would both of these creatures have cover from me right now? Uh, I would say that actually the one that burst out of the doctor does not have cover. Does for not me. have cover. Yeah, it's like right here in this square, so you got a pretty clean shot. All right, shot yeah, so there. Orin sees a clean shot. He takes aim. And, um, yeah, fuck it. Let's full attack. Why not? Let's get it. Let's get that full attack. Let's go. I'm going to roll these two d20s. Uh, okay. Um, so... Not bad. I rolled a natural 16 and a natural 19. Uh, plus... Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah? Yeah, don't worry about it. A natural 19 is going to hit. Okay, but then... Yeah, I mean, like, it's very rare at this point in the game for any of you to roll it below an 18 and not hit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, either way, that is Just for that the is sake of saving KAC. you on some That is against KAC. You know. Okay. Okay. Um, and it's a, it's a plus nine on top of those. So I'm, uh, I'm sure those hit, right? Right. 25. Yep. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, so yeah, let's get some damage. Um, that is a four D eight plus 20, 31 day. Oh, that was terrible rolls. That was really bad. Ooh, uh, two, three that threes was- and a two on that. Mm. Yeah. I don't really like that. No. Yeah. This is why I don't roll uh, on roll 20. I know, I know. Hopefully Foundry will be better yeah. once we make the Alright, anyway, so I'm sure they take so that reduced does only, damage. Yeah, reduced damage, right. That's okay. We'll, I will take Still, it. you got two successful attacks Yeah, in so there. Orin boom, just boom. takes aim, fires two shots. See, they're not that effective, but what can you do? The chamber's a new round anyway. Yeah, like the, sh- the, 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 the bullets just kind of like dissolve in the, in the smoke. You know, you don't even really see where it hits. It just kind of disappears in the smoke. And it's now the Creeping Shades' turn. We're going to start with the one that's in front of Mike and Kuiper. And I'm going to roll I'm gonna roll a die to determine who I attack here. All right. So even will be Mike and odds will be Kuiper. That's a four, so this is going to come at Ah, uh-huh. the odds are in my favor. Shut up, John. Nobody told you to talk. <laughs> I've right, never right, seen right, a we'll grown see. man we'll get bullied, bullied by a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Dude. Yeah. Oh, Have you never read The Dark Tower yeah, yeah, 2? Damn. Burn. Yeah, the second book in The Dark Tower. That <laughs> clearly happens yeah. badly. All right, here we go. You that, ready? You ready? You ready, true. Mike? This is coming at you. This is going to be a... You know what? We're going to full attack. Why would I not? I'm crit fishing. Let's do it. Full attack. I'm pretty sure if they're immune to crits, they can't, um, you know, make crits. They're uh, immune to all forms of crits, even yep. their own. Even dealing them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's raw. I looked it up. That's raw. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Here, here's the bad news. It's a 33 on that first. Oh. Okay. Here's the good news. 
The second one was a critical fail. Oh. Uh, I'm going to roll. They're not immune to critical point. fails of their own, though. They, they, are, they are not. That's uh, also wrong. And so, I, am a, I know that a 20 will not hit your EAC, right? No. All right. So, let's resolve the attack first that does land. I'm sorry. That's going to be 15 points of cold damage. 15? Okay. Yeah. And then, John, let's get that critical fumble card. This is a melee attack, energy attack, cold damage. Thank you very much. Okay, mm-hmm. so the extreme is grenade. The energy is ground blast. Attempt a trip combat maneuver at the same bonus against yourself and all adjacent creatures. They're, Whoa. Yeah. they're immune to um, yeah, combat, combat maneuvers. maneuvers. They yeah, are. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can, but it's, it says but it's attempt. All people, <laughs> but it's all, it says everything in the, what? Yeah, in the adjacent. Yeah. Adjacent. So yeah, that would adjo- be, all adjacent creatures. Right. So that's that going to be that feel like a, a critical fumble. failure. <laughs> it says critical fumble. I double checked on that shit. That's weird. That's. Yeah. And that fucked us over. I, that's, I mean, you be, know that's what? some BS. I think yeah. that's I'm doing it. I'm doing it for an incorporeal I'm, creature to do that. Like, come on. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. My immersion it. is it's completely broken right now. No, 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 no. The power of veto instilled in the the remaining five of us. Okay, we veto that. Yeah, yeah the, the, we the players. It's gonna yeah, be it's gonna right. be a hard yeah. veto from us, chief. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. guys have a hard five veto. votes, but my vote counts for six. Mm-hmm. So. No, I don't think that's how the No, we works. changed that. No, it's in the no. it's in the fine print. You need to yeah, look yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Did you wrong. not get the memo? We made an addendum. It's mm-hmm. Like you guys do any memos <laughs> ever. <laughs> hey, you've been on vacation, man. Things have yeah, changed. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, I may or may not have got it. I'm doing it. This is happening. Kuiper does a 31 beat your KAC well, plus fuck eight. Yeah, it does. Why plus are you eight. asking? No, plus, plus eight. eight. Plus eight. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's that box next to KAC that says KAC plus same, eight. Okay. Same to you. Same to you. Yeah, my, my KAC plus eight is 33. So yeah. So it does not beat it. Yeah. No, it does not it was beat 31. it. It's 31. Oh, oh, I thought you said 38. My bad. Okay. All right, and so you're good too, right, Mike? Yeah, I'm 35. Right. And it can't trip itself because it's immune to combat maneuvers, so whatever. It just failed. Okay. Way to waste our time, John. There's a really <laughs> shitty card that you drew. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, get better. All right, Ziva, you're up. No, wait, there's another one. Oh, no, it's fine. You said Ziva could go. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, hands off the piece. I meant you're up. No, I meant you're up for the attack. That's oh, coming yeah, sure. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, you know thing is going to do a spring attack so it can get right here in between Orin and Ziva without provoking an opportunity attack from Ziva. Oh, you heard me. It had a spring attack, John. You're not the only one. Did it move 10 feet? Did it move fucking 10 feet? It did. You just watched it move 10 feet. You just watched it move 10 feet. Alright. It's summertime. It can't do that. (laughs) Yeah. Check the bylaws, man. (laughs) Uh, You guys really got your shit together while I was going. Yeah, somebody had to. I mean, I've been saying it for two and a half years. I mean... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> All right. All right. So this is going to come then at you. Ziva, let's see if I can get an at 20. Oops. Come on. Oh, oh, just it's nice. not a natural 20. It's not a natural 20. But it is going to be a hit with a dirty 30. Is that against <sighs> my KAC plus A? No, it's EAC <laughs> plus nothing. I hate it. A lot. In fact. Right. Ooh, I got to find this juicy D12 here. Got it. Don't worry about it. It's like a grape that he's carved in the shape of a D12. It's all <laughs> juicy. <laughs> How'd you know? Yeah. It's a frozen grape, so it'll roll. All right, that's 19 points of cold damage because it is a frozen grape. Jesus Christ. Your dice box is going to be disgusting. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to get a new one out. You're going to get like so many fruit flies that way, dude. <laughs> that's how you get ants. That's how you get ants. Okay. Hate it. A lot. Uh, how, what did you say? So that's 21 damage for oh, Ziva. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. That's, it's awful. Uh, all right, so Ziva takes 21 points of damage. That is their turn. Ziva, you are up. Okay, I would like to 
correct me if I did I missed something. But did we get special abilities from this thing? No. Um, I'm gonna try to roll for that. Okay. Uh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna be it. That's like a thirteen. Nope. No. Um, well, in that case, she's going to since this thing's up in her grill. Go ahead and call her fucking curve blade. And All as right. she does, she's gonna say, "Orin, Orin, take him, take this smushy shadow thing down, and put a get him on it." You know, I uh, don't receive get him bonuses. Yeah, you specifically told Orin to do it, but he's the only one that can't it's receive the bonus. It's for everybody, but Orin like, gives next Ziva a cold me. glare. <laughs> She, An emotionless she glare. You, kn- you know I it. can't smell. Do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ever just wake up and smell the roses? <laughs> okay. <laughs> smell that shit, do it. I hate it. No, just no. Just no. She misses. Are you sure? I'm 100% positive. Okay. There's a three on the die. Yeah, that's pretty surely a miss. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's the end of the first round. I love it. Round two, this is going to be a long fight, guys. Mike, you're up. So Mike, uh, perceiving that he didn't, wasn't able to get much damage with this incorporeal creature, he searches everywhere he can for a new option and decides to use a move action to pull out his Andesite Magma Blade and uh, with the Ghost Killer Fusion, and I will swing with that. Let's get it. Okay. Uh, that'll be a 26 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Neat. Nice. All right. So, uh, that'll be 25 damage. 25 damage. And that uh, is, has fire. a fusion on it, right? It has the ghost killer fusion. All right. So, it's considered magical. So, all of that will go through. Yep. And that's uh, fire and slashing damage. Right, so that means it targets KAC, but because it has the fusion on it, it's... It takes full damage. Correct. And I can crit with it. All right, so that will be your turn. That is correct. You can crit with it, but it doesn't matter because they're immune to crits. Kuiper, no, they're not. Uh, uh, read the Ghost Killer fusion. If they're oh, even if they're immune it. to crits, yeah, that's right. Because that's I right. have Ghost Killer, Killer, I can still crit. So that's right. <laughs> yeah, get ready. <laughs> Do you want some of this? Heat? Do you want some of this? Yeah, I want it all, baby. <laughs> Kuiper, do your stupid turn. <laughs> all right, Adam. <laughs> all right, man. I know your son, really? bro. We don't take it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It in. This is workplace abuse. I mean, he, I mean, he just got more aggressive since his brain got fried out there. So that's it. Um, uh, so he's gonna go ahead and perform a spring attack, which is gonna require ten feet. So he's gonna move up this way, up north, um, to get that ten feet, and he's gonna go ahead and attack to start a flanking maneuver, like it. And uh, so take ten with that twenty-eight sense motive that passes. Mm-hmm. And he's going to impose bleeding. And let's go ahead and get that attack. And that is a 12 on the die. Plus 13. That is going to be 25. Uh, Sir, that will hit. Excellent. So let's go ahead and get that damage. 10 points of damage. Uh, Okay. That's it? Yeah. 2d4 plus 5. Yeah. You got your trick attack damage in there? Uh, no, I didn't. Hold on. Sorry. Remember, it's been two weeks. So, forgive me. That's going to be 32 points of damage. Uh, 32 points of damage, not 10. Yep. All right. Uh, and that knife is magical? Uh, yes. It's got a fusion on it? Fusion. All right. All right. All right. Well, you do cut it, but it does not bleed. That's all right. Okay. Still putting some putting some work on that northern one. Uh, Fell back to you, buddy. Man, I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did last turn. Uh, except combat tracking is already on, and this time I'm gonna be a little bit uh, risky and do it with deadly aim. Uh, okay. So let me do that. I think this might miss. All right. So that is a twenty to hit. KAC? 
No, sir. Damn it. That's right. a big old miss. Well, uh, that is, uh, I suppose that's, I guess that's Phil's turn. Man. Yeah, lame. You got you got turns over here like Kuiper, bro. Doing nothing. Womp womp. Right. Waste Actually, ammo. Uh, uh, yeah, just well, that's normal for well, you. Well, I at least dealt dealt damage, so. I, I really need to get a couple of conserve infusions on my weapons. Yeah, you do. Uh, or in Vance. Or in Vance. Version two. Uh, will seeing that he is now extremely close to one of these shades, uh, switch grips and draw his solar weapon and bring that bad boy down right on top of the shade. Now, I think it should go without saying that a blade made of pure cosmic light is in fact magical. In fact, I researched this before we got here. Yes. yes. Okay. Are correct. <laughs> yes. This goes back to our light discussion. Right, it's exactly. The same principle. Yeah. Yeah. Same principle. Natty 18 on that. All right, that's a yeah. hit, my man. Um, and it, um, this is a 3d6 mm-hmm. plus 14 plus 1d4. All right, that's two, that's five, and four, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven. Mm-hmm. Plus four, very nice. Fifteen plus fourteen is twenty-nine damage. Very Half of that. Good. Yeah, so... Fourteen, that, I guess. Uh, Fourteen. Okay. All right, and uh, Orin is satisfied with that for his turn. All right. That's a pretty good turn. Pretty yeah, good he doesn't make quite know what to think about it. these shadow shades, though. They, uh... Yeah, they're, they're tricky. It would be... They're I tricky. don't think it would be a stretch to say he doesn't like it, but who mm. even knows anymore, you know? Mm. Who's to say? say? Yeah. Who's to even say? All right. Evens odds for Mike and Kuiper. All right, this time Kuiper gets it. All right, coming at you with a full attack, buddy. All right, what you got? The first one is going to be a 26 against your EAC. Yeah. All right, and the second one. Oh, boy, that's a natural 20. Oh, no. Ah, shit. Go ahead and confirm that. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's see. All right. Alright, does a 23 hit your EAC? No, it does not. Alright. So, no card. Right. Let's talk about some damage. So, the first one, first hit, which is, that's just a regular hit for 14 points of cold damage. Okay. Alright, and the second one, we're gonna do some double damage here. So that's 30 points of cold damage. Mm, okay, so for that crit, yes, I'll take that. I'll take that 14 uh, points of damage. But that crit that you just scored, I'm going to go ahead and spend two resolve points uh, for my dented casa to negate that crit. Oh, ho, ho, buddy. Oh, Boom, de- you just got decritified. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. That's some Casa Haraza right there. Hurrahs for the Casa. I tried. It didn't work. <laughs> no. I don't know about that, Sorry. one, Emily. Uh, it's a, a you, slant You miss rhyme. 100% of the shots. You don't take that. You know? You know? You know? Oh, God. I'm so shoot mad. Shoot or shoot, baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm so mad. I'm so mad at you, John. Are you hot? <laughs> well, whatever, man. Oh, yeah. I'm burning up because I'm just burning up. I'm just hot. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot. All right, uh, well, then you take 17 points of damage from that hit instead of 30. Uh, <laughs> you dick. <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch. Well, calm down now. <laughs> no, so, let's not. see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take that off my stamina. And, uh, yeah, is, is that all you got, Hot Shot? <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm going to attack Ziva now with all the anger. I think that you're so mad you should just move on up there. Just go and attack uh, Kuiper with this one. And just go ahead. How many times can you do that bullshit with the dented casa? As much resolve as you got? As long as I've got res- uh, resolve points, yeah. And that was two resolve. Oh, he's grumpy. Uh, yeah. He is grumpy. <laughs> and he, he's right. got like a billion resolve, too. Like, Yeah. All right, Ziva. I'm coming at you now. Okay. That's, coming at you now. That's okay. Okay. 
We'll see. I'm full attacking you. Don't. So you don't have to. Pissed off. Right you now. don't have to. That's a choice you're making. <laughs> 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 All right. So that's 18 to hit your Get out EAC. Of here. Get out of here. All right. Well, 24 is going to hit your EAC. No, it's not. Are you not serious? That new armor. No. She just no. got some <laughs> brand new fucking armor. <laughs> some dope armor. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm need no. my, somebody else do their turn. I guess it's your turn, Ziva. Whatever. <laughs> oh shit! shit Emily just came sake. at him the finger so hard. Like. <laughs> Double bear Double burning him. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. My chest Lenny's hurts. Like, Double bear well, shot that was a good defense, but every now and then you're gonna want to take some of those hits. I'm telling you, it makes things better. And she just shakes her head a little bit, and she's going to re up to get him. Say, okay, okay, come on! And it's going to take a swing. Uh, twenty-four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll get it. Okay, that's exciting. Okay, I'm excited. Bitch, we excited. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I can do this. That's gonna be. 22 points of slashing damage. That's going to be not that. Well, you know, okay. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's my response. And that's Whatever also my turn. Good day, sir. Oh, good day. I said All good right. day. Round three or whatever, Mike, you're up. <laughs> or, or whatever. <laughs> He's already over this fight he was so hyped for. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to full attack with the Ghost Killer infused uh, Magma Blade. Yep. You do that. I do. I probably missed with the first one. Uh, so, eight on the die for a night 19. No. All right. We'll try again. Uh, and that's a seven on the die for an 18. Mm, even more no. Okay, so uh, <laughs> he's just swinging. Degree. I mean, it's it's a hard thing to pinpoint, right? It's all it incorporeal is. and shifting. It is it's just kind stuff. of like swirling around, all God kind of it. in space there. Right. Quick question: are, yeah. are, are, are all the damage that they've been dealing so far has it been cold? Yes. All right. Cool. 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 Good to know. Totally forgot I had energy resistance. Please go ahead. Okay. Well, you can take back whatever you would have. You oh, know. I'll do that then. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, okay. Oh, it's John's turn. That's right. Go so, uh, Kuiper is going to, again, launch to a spring attack. Uh, I'm sorry, not spring attack, a trick attack. And mm -hmm. take 10, so that's 28. And let's go ahead and, and I'm going to impose this time off target. So, minus two penalty to attack rolls. And on that attack roll, I got an 18 plus 13. That is going to be a 31. No? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, cool. Dig a dig a dun. Dig a dig a dun. That is going to be 25 points of uh, damage. All right. So, almost that. <laughs> All right, no, still that's a good. That's a good hit. You get it in there. You get it in there. <laughs> Did you want? That was a trick attack, right? That was a trick attack. Did you want to impose something other than bleed? No, uh, I said I imposed uh, off target, which was okay, minus target. two penalty to attack yeah. rolls. Yes, sir. All right, Phil, you are up. Phil is actually going to move into the room, uh, going past. Mike and Oren. Uh, what are these in the center of the room? Is it like beds? Surgical mm -hmm. tables? Mm -hmm. Can I just move past it without... You I can mean, move in between. Uh, no, you can see... So I mean, like it'd be difficult terrain to, to cross through there because you I, have to kind of like... I've got enough movement stuff. to do that, yeah. so I do that. I All know, right. kind of shimmy past it so I can see the full scale of what's going on in here. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm... Without having a... Uh, Friendly in the way, I'm gonna attempt another deadly aim shot okay. against the one in the north that I have combat tracking turned on, and that's likely gonna miss with a five plus ten. No, sorry, five plus twelve, so seventeen to hit. 
Uh, that's gonna miss, yes, sir. Man, I'm just doing excellent this time around. This game, this whole game, this whole game, this entire game, the whole damn game, <laughs> all 128 episodes. I'm doing wonderfully well, killing it. Just, all right, just back killing to you, the Warren. Game. All right, so the first thing that Warren will do, is, he's got Evelyn in his offhand, and he will holster Evelyn as part of the movement action. And then kind of grab his sword weapon with both hands, even though it's a one-handed weapon. This is just flavor. And he's going to bring that thing down as hard as he can on the shade right in front of him with a single attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, ooh, 26. That'll get it. Okay. That'll get it. Sweet. All right. So we're looking at uh, a six, a three, a three, and a one. So 13 plus 14 damage, I believe. Yeah. So right, 13, 13 damage, damage. right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Not bad, um, yeah, so he's doing his best, but but this thing just keeps, like... It's just swirling around swirling all of around, your attacks. Yeah. yeah. It's just like you're all getting, like, glancing blows on, on these swirling masses. And it is their turn. And, all right. So let me check something out. Let me check something out. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right. Uh, All right. uh, Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a spring attack on Kuiper with this northern one. Ten feet of movement. Yeah, he's going to move ten feet up. That means that, Mike, you get to do an opportunity attack. Okay. It's two on the die. It's going to miss. Yes, sir. All right. And then we're going to get an attack on Kuiper. <laughs> it's another natural 20. Really? Like to sp- yeah, it is. I, mm-hmm. I'm going to waste all my natural 20s on the dude that can negate him. Um, Yay. Right. I, love how, I love how he's bullying John and Kuiper. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> uh, so that is a crit. Are you going to use another two resolve? Yeah. Okay, so it negates it from a crit. Still a regular hit, though, right? Uh, yes. All right, so we're looking at 20 points of cold damage. Okie doke. And it's going to use its remaining five feet to phase into one of those little display cases. Mm. Which will provoke an opportunity attack from Kuiper. No, because he did spring attack, so he can't get any... So that, part of spring attack true. means yeah. Then that, why that, did Mike get to roll on the spring because attack? Because it's only on the target of your attack. Correct. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. okay. And then let's talk about the one down here with Ziva and Oren. We'll do a little odds and evens. Evens Ziva, odds Oren. Oh, it looks like we're doing even on our girl Ziva. We're gonna do a full attack on Ziva. Bring it I need a, I need a twenty so bad. You don't. 20. You don't. Though. No, for real though. Get that. It's out really cool. There must be some kind of critical effect that these things oh, yeah. have that you really yeah. want to show Something off. Something yes. terrible. Yes. Okay, first hit is a twenty-nine. That'll hit. It's gonna do thirteen points of cold damage. It's gonna do. Oh shit! Hold on. Do you have cold resistance? I do. I have cold resistance yeah. ten. Ooh. So it's gonna do three. It will do five. I guess. So what you're saying is that Ziva because up. I have two additional damage. Oh right, now. right, because um, right, right, right. Okay. What you're saying though is Ziva's a frigid bitch. That's true. Yeah. Ooh, ain't it? Ain't it true though? Lord. Isn't Fell also? A yes, he bitch, is. Though? He's he's just frigid, not quite bitchy. Yeah, he's five points lower than me, so. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's, it's not that she's cold, it's that she's immune to cold, right? Yeah. Like, or, or resistant. So, like, you're just not bothered by frigid bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. you saying the cold never bothered you anyway? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I was just Does curious. a critical hit bother Ziva? I use my dented cassata. <laughs> <laughs> a dented cassata? Yeah. I just yeah. have, a, have a dented cassata just like strapped to my it's back. A, like, it's, a four, it's a four-armed uh, <laughs> alien that was dropped on his head as a baby. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, so that that is a critical cool hit. Let's see if I can confirm this. Yeah. I don't Please know. Don't. Maybe not. That's a low roll. 
does a no a 21 is not going to confirm no right? it does not right. that's cool because i want to do the crit effect that it has built into it um you're going to take first off 20 points of cold damage i rolled shitty on 12. on on the damage uh, but that's okay, because what I really want to do... Zig a zig, uh... <laughs> nice. Is inhabit you. So, Orin, you watch as the smoke just goes into Ziva through her nostrils and eyes and her pores, and it just... <laughs> and Ziva, you are now inhabited by this creature. I did not consent. You are no, you didn't. Um, it did not care. Uh, so the it does not control you, but you feel an overwhelming sense of melancholy, and you are unable to benefit from any morale bonuses while it's inside you. And also, it's now inside you, making it much more difficult to hit. And you know, it's going to hit you too. So there's that. Um, is that a do I? Put a condition on or something? Or? No, okay. no, we, no. Um, I just don't take any bonus. You just can't. Yeah, Basically. mechanically, you just can't get the get them yeah. bonus. All right. Um, it is your turn now. You can try to eject this thing if you want. Um, just fart really hard. Is that how it works? No. So you have to wait around. Okay. So next round, you'll be able to attempt that. But for now, you must just act normally without any bonuses to your morale. And you just are overcome with gloom and melancholy. Okay. Um, well, this uh, uh, changes a little bit of what I can do. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Um... So what she's going to do is she's going to uh, do some stuff. Fuck me. Um, <laughs> so uh, so just let me paint a picture for our audience here and, and for the rest of the players. Ziva, who has the corruption of an enjoyment of pain, has just been inhabited by a creeping shade, making her full of melancholy while also wearing armor that's encouraging her to inflict pain upon herself and others for mm, for, for uh, a heightened awareness. Just, just putting that out there, this is the situation that the captain of the Epic Tracer crew finds herself in. Okay. So that she's... shade rolled in there and like, I'm the captain now. Yeah. Does the uh, does the armor say anything? Um, no. Okay. Um, so Ziva's going to <sighs> she's okay. She's gonna look at Orin, and she's just gonna like has this sort of slack look in her face, and she just says. Do whatever is necessary. It doesn't matter. And she's... The fuck are you talking about, Cap? She's gonna... How do I... How do do I attack myself with my own sword? (sighs) I don't like like this. Awkwardly? I feel like the Japanese had that figured out. I'm saying, like... Uh, I'm I'm saying (laughs) AC-wise. I'm saying AC-wise. I'm pretty sure you can just do it. Okay. You know. I mean, then... If you're not trying to resist it. No. Know. I mean, like, you painted the picture perfectly there. Yeah. This is just a compounding circumstance to her already fucked up mental situation. Objection leading the witness on the part of the GM. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah. so, I'm feeling a little bit of regret if it makes you feel any better. I mean, so yeah. I mean, she's just told Oren to fucking do it whatever he needs to do like as you're what like turning her yourself? blade and like trying to not aim for uh, vital organs in herself but I mean she can feel this thing like sort of swirling inside of her like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she doesn't have anything 
that she can do to get it out. So she's going to try and cut it out. So yes, yeah, she just kind of takes her blade to her midsection and just sort of okay. slowly sinks it in. All right, so roll damage. Actually, I do need you to roll an attack to see if you can also hit the thing inside of you. Bruh. Seriously? Well, yeah, it's got 50% concealment, you know? So just roll the concealment check. Oh. Just roll the concealment. Uh, okay. Uh, 83. All right, so that is success. So this damage will apply to both you and the shade. Okay. I don't even know what I'm rolling anymore. Okay. Oh, fuck. That's almost max damage. Okay. Oh, my God. That is going to be 23 points of slashing damage. <sighs> Ugh. Um, okay. Well, it's going to take half that. Yeah. And, Oren, I mean, you're just standing right there, and you watch Ziva just, like, what is it called? Seppuku? Yeah, I always <clears throat> do that. Seppuku? <laughs> Serpico? <laughs> no, I call it like Sepoku. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> Sudoku. 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 <laughs> and she just kind of is watching you, Oren, as she just sinks the blade in sort of slowly. It's not cool. I know. That's not cool. That's not know. cool. This is this just got like real, real heavy. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Round four. Mm. She's super melancholy, man. Mike, uh, you saw this thing kind of just like phase through the glass and now it's in this display chamber right so like think about it, it's like a full humanoid sized chamber that's filled with liquid and there's already something in there that's like this misshapen you know mutated version of a Sheeran in there but there's also this creeping shade just swirling all around inside of it what do you do that's weird yeah um <clears throat> I don't fucking know. Um, I'm going to. I don't want to. I don't want to run up on it and attack it. So I'm gonna. My sword is one-handed, so I'm gonna use a move action to pull my pistol out and shoot it at the the container. Okay. And that's a natural one. Oh no! All right, roll to confirm. I am rolling really poorly tonight. Uh, okay. It's, uh, 27? 27. Alright, so it does not confirm the fumble. But it does end your turn. Phew! Yikes. Sheesh! Okay. Kuiper, you're up. Alright, so... <clears throat> There's not really anything that he can do to the uh, creeping shadow that is phased into the device north of him. Of him. Now, this token that is still in the middle that's being flanked by me and um, Mike, is it anything targetable? Well, no. No, that's okay. just the, the dead skin of Dr. Kindor. Okay. Uh, is there... <clears throat> Is there any way that I can fucking target it that's something that is phased into a device? Yes, it's just going to have a 50% mischance. Okay, all right. I'll go ahead and try that. Okay. And that's just going to be a trick attack. Um, so it succeeds the sense mm -hmm. motive. And the attack roll is going to be a 2 on the die. That is going uh, to be yeah, a 16, so that's not even going to win. No, sir. No, sir. 15. Okay. Um... And that's With it. That no, that's because it. no, 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 because I can do spring attack. But you didn't. You, no, I don't really have to call it. It just happens. Yes, to you be. do, because you have to move ten feet. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Never mind. Disregard Which that. Which you reminded no. me at the beginning of this episode. No. You stupid motherfucker. <laughs> all right, all right, you piece of shit. There we go. Right, I'm gonna come over John. there right now. Hey, hey everybody at home, okay. I'm just kidding. I love John okay. very, very much. <laughs> Yeah, he got to backtrack uh, that. He forgot that John lives like right down the street from him now. Yeah, no, five forget. fucking minutes. <laughs> come on, come on. I was, was going to say, after this episode, John's going to drive back up to my house just to 
to wind down from the abuse you've hurled at him. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that turn did yep. nothing, but no, Fel, you're nothing. Right. All right, so Fell is going to see Kuiper attacking this inanimate object and move up to where he can get a clearer shot at mm-hmm. said inanimate object. And just out of curiosity, does the targeting computer help with that in Fell's armor? Because it ignores concealment. Um, it does not ignore total concealment, correct? Is this total concealment? Yes, it's 50%. Okay. Then no, it does not. But Fell's shooting at it anyways. All right, let's get it. Uh, Fell's likely going to miss it anyways, because uh, Josh can't get his shit together and roll well. Except maybe not with a 28. And let's get that miss chance... Where'd my... Okay, there's my... 100. Oh, no. That's a three. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dang, a, man. A zero, zero, uh, and a three. All right. Oren. Oren, Oren, Oren. You've been trying so hard to protect your captain from any kind of self-harm. You've been mad at her. You've been telling her, this. you can't do this. But now you just saw the shade enter into her and just watched her drive her sword right through her side to try to rid it of this secondary corrupting force. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what, I mean, what does Orin do here? Well, Orin's gonna search his heart, I guess. <laughs> Which and is dead, tr- by the way. Try, try to... <laughs> Try to recall knowledge. I'm, I'm, I'm searching for a specific piece of information. I believe that I can recall knowledge more than once. You cannot. You can't. Uh, I don't know. I, I do not like the idea of you rolling multiple checks on memory checks. You know, like, this is what you know about it. In the heat, It's not like you have time to, like, study it further. You know what I mean? Like, you're in the heat of battle. This is That check is what you knew about this creature going into it, you know? Yeah, but but for but for for my peace of mind, I want I want a confirmation. There is uh, no confirmation because it doesn't say one way or the other. You know. I mean, I'm looking at identify creatures right now. It doesn't it doesn't say one way or yeah, the other. Yeah, I've always it's it's what you know. Right, every way every way we've played it up yeah. until this episode, it's always been one role. And like you can't aid in recall a knowledge. It's mm-hmm. just what you know in that moment. Yep. So. All right, so let me ask you this. Did you tell Emily what... Is this creature dealing damage in some way to her over time? It hasn't uh, been I its ha- turn yet, so we don't know. It hasn't been its turn. Uh, right now, all she's feeling is melancholy. Uh-huh. I kind of... Okay, so I kind of want to swing for the fence on this one and see, okay. and, and see if I can get anything. I want to cast... Remove Affliction. Okay. Now, I do not want to cast Remove Affliction on on Ziva. I want to cast Remove Affliction on the creature. Well, you can't see the creature currently. You doesn't. You don't have to be able to see it. it just says one target, one creature or object. It doesn't mean anything about line of sight. I mean, this is pure magic, dude. Did. Did it we did it say that we that force damage gets full or am I making that up? Yeah, that's right. That's like one of the full. Am I able to target the creature at all? I'm look I'm looking. Hold on. Okay, targets. Some spells have one or more targets. You cast these spells on creatures or objects as defined in the spell's description. You must be able to see or touch the target unless the spell has an attack roll. See spells with attack rolls below. You must specifically choose that target. You do not have to select your target until you finish cap- casting the spell. Uh, as far as attack rolls, some spells require an attack roll to hit. For these spells, you don't need line of sight to the target, but you still need line of effect. This is not an attack roll. This is a spell. Then, then you, then no. No. You, you, you have so to be able to see, see it or touch so you, it. So, what you're saying is, while while the creature is inhabiting Ziva, it cannot be targeted at all. Not if you can't. If the whatever you're doing requires line of sight, visibility, or like being able to touch it, then no, it can't be targeted that way. I guess what I what I'm curious about is like the effect of an of of its inhabit or whatever. Like, 
if because like Ziva was able to target it, and it had, you said it had a fifty percent miss chance. So I was wondering if the text. Well, she can touch it. She can touch it with her with her hand. I mean, she, I'm touching it with my her. guts. She's touching it <laughs> like all the time, you know. Because that's like the tricky thing about incorporeal creatures, right? Like once they go into something, she gets wacky. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then habit is different than the incor incorporeal thing that's going on with it being in the object. You know, they can still see it, and it's like part of the object. It's kind of infusing the object, which is why they can attack with a 50% mischance. That's an incor that's part of the incorporeal text, not the inhabit text. The only so reason that, that the captain can attack is because she's touching it. It's inside of her. You know? So what you're saying is it's untargetable by anyone that isn't being inhabited. You can target Ziva. But you can't target the shade. You can't target it specifically, separately. You can't it's exclude. You cannot yeah. exclude the shade from Ziva. Right. Like uh -huh. if you hit Ziva with damage, the shade will take damage. All right. Well, that's but that's not to to, something that I, I want to do. Then. Right. Right. Captain just told you do whatever you have to. Yeah, but I don't give a fuck what the captain says. <laughs> obviously, because of his corruption, he don't give a fuck what the captain says. Okay, all right. Insubordination, heard. heard. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's churlish as fuck too. Churlish. Yeah, I'm team team Orin on this one. Yeah. Same. We can't trust that bitch right now. Yeah. Haven't been able to for a while. That's not true. All right, so Orin is going to forestall his turn. He's gonna he's gonna withdraw. Delay. He's gonna hold his turn. Yes. All right. It is the shade's turn. We'll start with the one that's in the the little pod. And it's going to do a spring attack out of the pod. Move ten feet towards Fell. And then five feet towards Kuiper. Fell, you have a ranged weapon, so you cannot do an opportunity attack. Correct. Kuiper, I'm doing spring attack, so you cannot opportunity attack. And we're going. Correct. With we're going Damn, with that was attack. slick. He's so proud of himself. I probably missed, though, with this shitty-ass roll. 24 against EAC. Oh, just enough. Oh, wait, no, 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 because it is affected by... Uh, it's off target. It's off target, yeah. So it's a 22 against yep. EAC. Nope. Nice. Get out of here. Nice, nice. Good grace. Shut up, John. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, the uh, other shade is just going to stay inside Ziva. Ziva, it's your turn. You have an opportunity to try to eject this thing from your body. I would like to attempt to do that. Let me get a fortitude save. Okay. Okay, 14 on the die, so that's a dirty 20. It's a dirty 20. All right, that is enough. You eject it. It like comes out of you. Sneeze it out of your nose. The smoke monster Gross. comes out of your nose. Um, but I need you to roll a another fortitude save. Don't love it. It left a baby smoke monster in there. Uh, yeah. No, I kept looking at the die, hoping it'd be better. That's eleven total. Okay. Well, a couple things happen. When you see... Or in, uh, we'll do this from your perspective. You held your turn. Ziva, you just see her, like, scrunch her face up. And she just sneezes the smoke out of her nose and mouth. It comes out, and it seems like it's re-energized before. And then, Ziva, I need you to roll this fortitude save that you failed, which means that you have contracted gloom spores. And we'll see ya. Oh what? No. Oh, no. no! What the hell does that even mean? Well, there's sports we bloom. Man. It sounds week, just I like guess. regular yeah. allergies. <laughs> also, because <laughs> <Ugh. laughs>